Hey you guys, welcome to your uh, bi-weekly love reading. Uh, so we are going to start with Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the month of February 2023. Okay, so you have the Seven of Pentacles, overall energy. Um, the will. Okay, so I feel like maybe you have just gone through some sort of change in your life. Um, but it seems like there's an opportunity opening up to you as well. But it's up to you whether or not you're going to move forward with this opportunity. Um, seems like you are choosing to put things into perspective. And it seems like something's already been set in motion, actually. Yeah, I feel like something's already been set in motion. Something is already playing out. Um, so whatever intentions you put into the universe uh, a month ago, a year ago, a week ago, I, I just feel like that is something that is already in development. And now it's just a matter of you being patient and waiting it out because something is on the way. Um, whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest, I feel like you have nurtured this um, desire enough. Um, and now, like I said, it's, it's just a waiting game now. But I feel like things are going to happen uh, when it's meant to. Everything is in divine timing. So that's basically what's happening. Um, while you're waiting, though, you know, you can still be putting things into perspective, um, sorting things out. Um, it seems like you are also wanting to make decisions that are practical and worthwhile. Um, there's also a possibility that someone who came into your life is on your mind and you've been thinking about this person and wondering is it worth investing time and energy into this relationship? Um, but it seems like you're sorting out your thoughts. Um, yeah, so I feel like something was meant to be or something is meant for you. You might be waiting to have a conversation with someone. It also kind of seems like even if you're not fixated on love, you know, you're minding your business, um, you're focusing on other important things in life, that's when it happens. All of a sudden, Cupid comes out of nowhere and hits you with the arrow. And it seems that, you know, you are being aligned with someone who is on the same path as you. Um... Whoever comes into your life, I feel like it's going to be very significant. Something's also coming off as being at a crossroad. So you may have been placed in a situation where now you have to look at things objectively before you make that decision. I just feel like you're being given a choice. Um, it's like here's a chance or an opportunity to control the will of destiny. Um, will you steer it this way or that way? Will you just keep going forward? Are you going to go in reverse? But I just kind of feel like you have a choice. If you're in a relationship, it, you know, something may have happened where, like I said, there's an opportunity being placed in front of you, giving you a chance to decide, do you want to stay in a re relationship that you're in or do you want to move forward with this new person? Um, it, if you are, if it's not about making a decision between two people, it still indicates that there is some sort of decision that you're having to make. Like maybe, for instance, you and your partner are deciding on which house to buy. You know, it's like, which which house should we purchase? Um, so you're having to make a decision together as a couple. I still feel that something is temptation, though. 
if you are single, whoever is coming towards you, they they're the ones that has to make a decision. I feel like you came into their life at um, a critical time. And you are giving this person something to think about. You also may have been the person that needed to intervene a situation. Maybe someone you it's like you you could be the one being used as spiritual bait. To get someone on a new path. I feel like someone also has been communicating with you indirectly um, or someone is going to find a clever way to engage you in conversation. Um, someone is very charming, very witty, um, just very clever. And I see you becoming engaged in a conversation with someone. I see someone luring you in and I feel like you're attracted to this person, not just physically, but they're mentally stimulating. And so um, whatever they're doing, I feel like it works. This also could be you, something that you're doing. If you are, you might be the one trying to find a clever way to get someone's attention. And I feel like it's working. Um, Be careful, though, of who you do get involved with, because somebody may be, you know, charming. They might be a player. They might be a flirt. And you may not be able to take this person serious. I still kind of feel like it's a setup. Um, let's say their intentions, they're like, I just want to, you know, have fun, you know. I don't have any intentions for a serious relationship that may uh, evolve into something spiritual or something more serious. Mm. And I see some sort of big distraction, too. And it's like I was saying, I feel that. You could be the catalyst to get somebody on a different path. It's like someone is disrupting your life or you are disrupting their life. And there's going to be some sort of an awakening. Someone is going to have some sort of realization and feel like, you know, where have you been all my life? Like, what is this that I'm feeling? Who are you? And I feel like somebody is going to have so many questions because you distracted them you got somebody out of their element or someone has gotten you out of yours and i hate to say it but i mean life is funny like that but it seems like somebody is being used to cause a disruption or breakup And this is just part of someone's destiny. This is, I feel like this is just something that was meant to play out. You know, you've got several cards that indicate that there is an inevitable change going on. Something seems like beyond your control. Um, Like, even though you may be at a crossroads, it's still like this had to happen. Like this, you had to have some sort of realization. This is the person that your higher self sent to you to get your attention. Your higher self knew what it was doing. It's like if anybody can get the message across, it'll be this person. So I feel like someone is um, just kind of really coming into your life to disrupt it. And I kind of feel like 
everything that you believed is falling apart because it's meant for you to go on a different path. Either this is happening to you or this is what you are doing for someone. And I see some sort of intense attraction between two people. You also may discover that there is some kind of telepathy between the two of you. Mm. It definitely just looks like something that starts off playful and flirty might end up being bigger than it seems. It's more than meets the eye. All right, so let's see what messages there are for those of you that are uh, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising. For the month of February, 2023. You have the star, overall energy, six of cups. All right, so I feel like there's a soulmate energy. I feel like your prayers are being answered. Someone is coming into your life and this is everything that you wished for. Um, now, something could start off long distance and you also might not believe something off the bat. You might feel like this is too good to be true but something is happening to you. Um, whoever you are connecting with, whether this is a new incoming love interest or a current person, I feel that you feel completely comfortable around this person. You can uh, find yourself being very vulnerable with them. And this is someone who can get you to open up your person may be someone who's very uh, generous or selfless, or at least they are with you, or vice versa. I feel like it's also going to be discovered that you have telepathy with them. It's like you can read each other's thoughts. You don't have to say anything. I feel that you also might dream about this person before you hear from them. And I feel like it's going to be confirmed that you do have some sort of telepathic connection. Astrologically, it might simply be that you have Uranus uh, or Mercury connections that give you this ability for you guys to feel each other or hear each other. You could be dealing with um, a Scorpio or an Aquarius. Mm. I also feel like you're going to receive a message from spirit. Now, it seems to like after some sort of initial connection, they're going to ghost you or things go silent. And then... It's like you guys are both being resistant towards this attraction that you have with each other for some reason. Also could be um, could be any air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I feel like someone is also trying to leave out some sort of hints and clues and someone also may be keeping tabs on you or, you know, just checking out your social media, trying to find out information on you. And they may be saving your pictures. Somebody is also like posting something, then deleting it. Maybe, I don't know, feeling 
like they were too vulnerable and delete something. Or somebody is trying to leave something available long enough for you to see it, then they're going to delete it. But I do feel that two people are soulmates and they're fighting this attraction for some reason. I feel like somebody is responding to you and then disappearing or acknowledging you and then disappearing. It may be that someone is wanting you to pursue them or take over the pursuit. All right, so let's see what messages there are for those of you that are Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of February 2023. You have five of wands, overall energy, the fool. You are currently coming off as detached um, and maybe just focusing on you. Seems like you have zero tolerance for, you know, any foolishness, shenanigans, but it also seems like you may be getting ready to take some sort of a risk or it's like you're walking into danger. The thing that you were trying to avoid, you walk right into it. I feel like there's going to be some sort of frustrations. Hmm. For some of you, this could be that you're trying to avoid falling in love, but you end up doing it anyway. This also could be reversed. Somebody has been ignoring you um, or av avoiding you, but they end up falling in love with you. I feel that the more two people try to resist each other, the more intense it becomes and it just becomes too difficult to ignore those feelings. It's like we can't ignore these feelings anymore. Um, people are acting guarded and defensive, but I see people letting their guards down. Yeah. Somebody has been trying not to fantasize about you or daydream about you, uh, but I feel like they can't help themselves. Also, I feel that spirit may be pushing somebody out of their comfort zone. It's like, if you want this, you have to get out of your comfort zone. So it could be the person coming towards you where maybe they don't normally pursue, especially if they usually get a lot of attention. Um, but they're having to do something they don't normally do. So someone is going to do something out of character for love. I also see the possibility of more than one person competing for your attention. And it seems like you are getting ready to experience something that is very romantic. Um... The other thing I'm getting, for some of you, this actually could be a breakup. Like you're walking away from a relationship, you don't care anymore. Maybe you realize that something was a facade, you're like, and you just are ready to love yourself and detach from anything that's false. That's for some of you, especially if you were in a relationship. For some of you, you also may be just trying to distract yourself. Like you just end up, like you're trying to just date someone for fun, trying to keep it surface. 
um, just to distract yourself, but it's possible that you still end up falling for them. Romantically, though, I feel like somebody is trying to get your attention by like tagging you in like a song or um, just in a very entertaining way. On a on a um, well, as a warning, make sure that whoever you're dealing with isn't you know, gaslighting you or playing mind games. Mm. It seems to like you're trying to excuse yourself from a situation that could be considered to be taboo. Or maybe you're like, I don't want to be in a secret relationship or I don't want this. That. It seems like you're trying to detach yourself from something that you don't want. Something is still an illusion. You're having to look out for illusions. Or something is confusing. It's possible that someone is sending you mixed signals. And it's possible that you could be deceiving yourself or looking at a situation through rose tinted glasses. I also feel a relationship could have started off as a professional one. Like maybe you work with this person or if you work for yourself, it was a client or maybe this is a doctor patient relationship or anything of that sort of seemed like it could have started off professional. Mm. Hmm. I kind of feel like something similar is happening to you guys that happened to, I think Aries, I just did, um, where someone is going to find a way to get you to engage with them. They're like, you're going to talk to me. Like, I'm going to get this person's attention. I'm trying to show you that I'm interested in you. I'm trying to indirectly tell you I love you. Um, so I feel like someone is like being very clever and playful um, and finding creative ways to express their feelings for you. Uh, I, my only warning is like, make sure that if, if you want something serious, make sure that they're not just playing mind games. All right, so let's see what messages there are for those of you that are Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. The month of February 2023. All right, you have Three of Swords, Overall Energy, Page of Wands. You may be taking a break from someone, especially if they have been immature. Um, hmm. I also feel like somebody might break your heart or hurt your feelings in some way, either because they're ignoring you or they're just turning out not to be the person that you thought they would be. And then I also see the possibility of an ex coming into your life. Oh boy, yeah, somebody feels as if there's unfinished business and I feel like they're wanting to work things out or see if something can be resolved. You might be having a relationship that's always falling apart and then you guys are constantly trying to fix it or heal uh, old wounds. I do feel like your patience is being tried and somebody could be giving you a lot of anxiety
it also seems like somebody got upset about something that they saw, or maybe this is something that's going to happen. Um, I feel like maybe someone is feeling very jealous. Somebody might be jealous of a co-worker. They're like, why are you so close to that co-worker? Or why are you still friends with your ex? Um, something's bothering you and giving you a headache. You also may feel regret in regards to an earth sign or like you're trying to avoid this person. I kind of feel too like somebody is effing with you on purpose. It's like somebody is in your energy or someone keeps, they won't let something go. Somebody just won't let it go. It's like, why are you still holding on to this? Like, go, I moved on or whatever. And somebody is just still bothering the other person. I feel like you also may need to set boundaries with someone. Someone who keeps saying hurtful things. I keep getting the energy of revenge. So I don't know if you are trying to get revenge on somebody or if they're trying to do it to you. Mm. If you try to confront somebody about something, be prepared to hear something hurtful or don't ask unless you can handle it because I feel like what somebody has to say might come off very defensive. Um, well, it might make you defensive, the things that they're saying. And it's like, well, you asked to know the truth or you wanted to know what I really felt and this is what it is. And then you get defensive about it. This also could be reversed. Definitely seems like you may have cut someone off because they were being immature and playing mind games. I also feel like somebody feels used. It's like, man, they used me. If you feel used by someone, you might just try to forget about it and just focus on, you know, work. But then, I don't know, it seems like their energy is still there. Something is haunting you. I feel like you're being eaten by guilt. You may have betrayed someone or someone betrayed you. Uh, I mean, or, you know, it's going the other way around. But if you feel like you did something shady, I feel like it's haunting you. All right. So, I don't know. You may need to confront some sort of anxieties that you're having. All right, so let's see what messages there are for those of you that are Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the month of February uh, 2023. All right, we have Death. Overall energy, six of swords. All right, so I feel that you may be coming out of a turbulent place. Um, life, life may seem kind of dull for you or maybe it seems like you're just on autopilot it seems like you're trying to trust uh, your guides, but I don't know. Maybe it kind of seems like something is a dead end. So if you are in a relationship, I feel like you're trying to be um, at peace. You want to do the right thing, but something just feels like it's a dead end. Something is coming towards an ending. So there may be a need for you to prepare to let go of, you know, the relationship that you're in. 
If you're single, it might have a different effect. You might be feeling like very dry and mundane and then that part of your life is coming to an end. Uh, either way, I feel that you're going to be dealing with transformations and endings. Um, something may change you for forever. Um, it seems like you're coming out of a place and it's like you're not the same person anymore. It also could indicate that whoever is coming towards you is coming out of a breakup or some, someone coming towards you is a changed person. They're not like they used to be. They're just like completely different. Mm, you also could have a Scorpio or an Earth sign uh, that you're dealing with or coming towards you. Mm. Something else I was picking up on. Hmm. I feel like your spirit is going to be renewed. Hmm. Okay, so I do feel that there may have been literal spirits around you. And I don't know, maybe they're guiding you. It could be ancestors or maybe it's just, you know, some sort of spirit. But it seems like there could be spirits around you. There's going to be some sort of unexpected change or event in your life. Something's going to catch you off guard. I feel that. I feel like your whole routine is getting ready to shift. I feel that whatever foundation you had is falling apart. Like there is a need to like change your life. And I feel like spirit is forcing you um, to make changes or to get out of your comfort zone. Like something is happening to disrupt your life. Now, another thing, another way this can go is that. And I've been picking this up a lot lately. Someone is being used as a catalyst for change, as a disruption. Um, so either you have come into someone's life to cause a change or disruption, especially if someone was in, uh, an unhealthy relationship or a relationship that had been going on and on, you might be the person that is the catalyst for a breakup or vice versa. My goodness. I feel like somebody's also been doing candle magic, trying to manifest something. Something's going to get your attention in a big way. I feel like somebody is trying to indirectly express their feelings for you. You also may have made a connection with someone and then was ghosted shortly afterwards or you did this. But I feel like something's going to pick back up. Somebody did what needed to be done. Could also be dealing with an air sign. I kind of feel like somebody is also sending their thoughts towards you and you are picking up on it. It seems like somebody is saying something to you or they want you to see something. Somebody's like, look. You might not like, you know, hear somebody saying, look, but it just seems like you end up doing something subconsciously but really somebody is like channeling you somebody's trying to channel you somebody's trying to manifest you 
and it seems like it's working. The only thing is that it seems like they want you to pursue them. Um, so yeah, depending on, you know, who's, who views themselves as a pursuer. If you view yourself as the, the one who's ready to receive, the one who wants to be pursued, then, you know, you might not like this because I feel like they're trying to make you pursue them. Um, they have a method. I don't know it's something, this is something that they normally do. Hmm. But at least it does seem like there's an attraction between two people and something seems like magical. Hmm. Pay attention to your intuition. Because I feel like overall somebody is trying to channel you. All right, what messages are there for those of you that are Virgo? Sun, Moon, or Rising for the month of February 2023? You have the Moon, Overall Energy, the Magician. There's a lot of unusual connections going on. I feel that people's psychic abilities are being activated or triggered. Um, I feel like you're gonna think you're crazy or like you're imagining things. Part of it, <sighs> I, something is an illusion, but not really. I'm trying to explain it. Like you might be like, am I crazy or is this person talking to me? Is this person visiting me in dreams? It sounds crazy. I think what it is is that there's a lot of indirect and or metaphysical communication going on between people. Um... Whoever is pursuing you is wearing a mask. I feel like they are not, that's not them. Whoever they portray themselves to be publicly is not who they are, including if their um, profile picture is either not them or it is an object or something of that sort. You may find yourself feeling very emotional at times. Someone also may be doing some kind of sex magic. Trying to manifest you or get your attention or you are doing this. I do feel like somebody's been doing ritual work, especially with the moon. And I feel that a big secret's going to come out on the next full moon. Yeah, I feel that things are being exposed and masks are falling off. Illusions are going away. Hmm. You also may be dealing with some sort of change, at least change in beliefs. And I see you having some sort of anxiety attack. You may be stressing because you can't figure something out or you can't stop thinking about someone. There could be strong water energy coming towards you or that you're dealing with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
there's a lot of trickery or deception around you or you are the cause of it. Hmm. I see positive and negative. I, I really feel like somebody is also just trying to express how deeply they love you, um, but they're talking in code. I feel like somebody is sending coded messages to you. Um, if someone is a literal entertainer, I feel that they're t telling your story um, through their music. Um, of course, you know, just changing up the names or whatever. But if you're dealing with an, an entertainer, they're talking about you and their music. Um, I also feel like somebody turns out to be either like a cheater. There is cheating and lying going on. Like somebody may have left out some major details or constantly... Um, flip the script in regards to their love life. It seems like there is some sort of reverse psychology going on. I feel like you could be dealing with a very deceptive person. Now you might be okay with that depending on the situation. Maybe you feel like I know they're deceptive. I know them. I could see through them so that, but you know, I get it. I get them. Um, so maybe you're okay with that. But those of you who aren't, I don't know. It, I don't know. It just kind of feels like you could be dealing with a very deceptive person. Um, I feel that somebody was in a relationship or is in a relationship, but it may be coming to an end. And like I said, across the board, I keep getting that energy of the catalyst for a breakup, like spirit is moving through you as a catalyst to break up a relationship, especially if, you know, these people have resolved their karma and it's not meant for these people to be together anymore, but they won't move on from each other. So it's like, okay, send in this person, get them out of that relationship so that other things can, can move on, so that other things can play out. Because I feel like something is all part of a bigger picture. Um, so everybody has to play their role, if that makes sense. All right, so let's see what messages there are for those of you that are uh, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of February 2023. You have the Ace of Pentacles, overall energy, the King of Wands. So for some of you, I feel that you're headed towards some sort of new beginning or there is an opportunity, to, you know, to start something new. Um, if you're in an established relationship, there is a possibility of some sort of proposal. Seems like somebody is moving towards the first step of responsibility. Uh, you also may be feeling motivated. Could be dealing with a fire sign, but I feel like somebody is thinking about you or watching you and strategizing. You might receive a gift present or money from someone. <sighs> Seems like it's something that you're wanting to know about. You're going to get your confirmation. Like, let's say you were wondering if someone had feelings for you. I feel like you're going to get a positive confirmation. 
And from then, there's going to be some sort of a time out or a pause. And that is to get you spiritually prepared for a relationship. So I feel like um, this energy is leaning more towards those of you that are single. Um, I mean, if you're in a relationship, whoever you're dealing with, you might start just looking at this person differently. Like you're seeing them in a different light. But you yourself seem to be coming to some sort of realization. You also may need to decide if you're willing to let something go for, you know, what this is that you want for a relationship, for love, whoever this is. It may be something that you're needing to let go of or it's like you need to make some sort of a sacrifice. Um... So, you know, being in a relationship, that means you do have to sacrifice some of your time and energy because then the other person needs attention. Um, it's not just about you anymore. And maybe you're needing to see if you're ready to do that. From a spiritual perspective, I feel that someone you're dealing with might be into metaphysical things and could be remote viewing you. And you can feel it when they do this. Seems like you also may be in denial of something that's happening. Or you're dealing with some sort of frustrations. Whatever is stressing you out, I feel that once you get clarity, it's going to give you a sense of relief. You also may be trying not to think of someone sexually, and then it's like you can't help it. If you are also trying to hold on um, to celibacy, it's like the minute you go out with this person, you lose it. And you might be feeling like, oh my God, I didn't know. <laughs> I was trying to wait. I was trying to hold on to it. So I feel that something might go out the window. Like you said you were going to do this or you were going to hold on to that. But the minute you get face to face with this person or the minute you guys have some alone time, you're, you're at it. If you are in an established relationship, I feel like some of you are nervous about a pregnancy test, especially because you were unprotected. You also might be involved with someone who's much younger and feel like guilty about it or you're stressing about it. Or it could be someone older depending on your age. Also, someone may be helping you discover yourself. Yeah. All right, so let's look at Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. messages are there for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the month of February 2023. You have the Nine of Wands and the overall energy is the Queen of Wands. seems like you are nervous about something and seems like you're doing a lot of writing or journaling there's a need to work through your insecurities or maybe you're trying to figure out where these insecurities are stemming from 
if you were dealing with a fire sign, I feel like maybe there are some trust issues in regards to this person. I also get two different energies. One person is coming off very confident and another is coming off very insecure. Um, I kind of feel like there is a fire sign that maybe makes you very nervous or doubt yourself. Uh, even if you are normally a very confident person. Hmm. For somebody, I feel like they're nervous about falling for someone because they're at a distance. And it's like, I don't want to be in a long distance relationship. I've never been in a long distance relationship. How would that work? Something is indicating that you're needing to put yourself first or move forward in confidence. I feel like you're getting ready to make um, a, a brave decision. You're doing something that's considered to be very brave. You also seem to be making some sort of decision objectively, having to detach emotions from a decision that you're making so that you can make the best decision for yourself and your future. If you are completely single, it just seems like you're keeping it that way until the right person comes along. Like you don't you don't have any time for disturbances or people, you know, bothering you if they're not going to be in your life for long. So you might be setting some sort of boundaries in regards to the type of person that you allow to get close to you. I also see that there is someone who might be viewing you um, as their object of desire. They're like, I must have them. And so they're trying to figure out how to get to you. Uh, I still feel like if someone is coming towards you, they need confidence. And I do feel like they're going to become confident they just need to stop doubting themselves. Someone finds you very attractive. For some of you, this is a past situation that needs to be worked out. The other thing I see is that somebody could be tempted, like somebody is trying to lure you away or seduce you or your partner if you're in a relationship, but somebody is showing resistance um, and having to set boundaries with someone who's trying to cross the line. They're like, no, I'm in a relationship. I can't do that or you can't be here or you know, just whatever the case, I feel like somebody is having to set boundaries with somebody. And it could be either a client or somebody that they work with. Um, maybe someone is just like trying to see like if you would go there or if your partner would go there. But I don't feel like they're gonna cheat. I feel like somebody is looking but not touching. Um, someone also may low key be trying to test you to see if you're loyal or not. Yeah. Also, I see um, past issues just being resolved between you and another person. And if not, then I feel like you're going to turn your attention to yourself and your business or work. All right. So let's see what messages there are for those of you that are Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Arising for the month of February 2023. 
and I might have to take a quick break. All right, we have Ten of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Yeah, King. All right, hang on just a sec. All right, so we were at Sagittarius. Um, all right, so I feel like, you know, maybe something's going on in your life where you feel um, pretty comfortable, uh, pretty secure in um, a relationship that you have. And maybe you're also uh, reaching some sort of level of status. So if you, you know, were just casually dating someone, maybe now it's becoming official. Um, so I feel that there is something that's giving you a sense of security in your relationship. Um, it's also the possibility that um, there's something expanding Anything that you find valuable, it could be a child that brings a value to your uh, relationship, or it could be literal money and finances. Um, but it, it could be some sort of expansion coming to your life in your relationship. Now, the red flag would be the person that you're interested in is already in an established relationship and most likely they're going to hold on to that relationship um, because they feel secure in it. That's what they know. That's who they've established trust with. So that will, you know, more than likely be the person that they stay with. Stay with. Um, But I feel like if this is, you know, the relationship that you're currently in, that you've been with for a while, it, it just seems like something is strengthening your relationship. Um, something could be bringing the two of you closer together. Um, and like I said, it seems like maybe you're getting some sort of status, some sort of rise in status. Uh, you could be uh, being introduced to their family, being embraced by their family, uh, or vice versa. Seems like things are running smoothly. Mm, you also might end up taking some sort of mini vacation with your partner. Mm. Now I'm getting that other story again for those of you that might have the red flag story. Um, yeah, if your person uh, suddenly goes away or disappears, you haven't heard from them, that's because they're in a relationship and they feel obligated to focus on it and you know, that's, that's what they're doing. They're focusing on their relationship. Maybe they found that they could not juggle you and the relationship that they're in. So they chose their relationship. Um, now, if it is not about somebody being in a relationship, you still may end up feeling like you're getting the short end of the stick, like your partner is putting their family above you. Um, yeah, it just seems like they're choosing their family over you. And that could be anything. Like maybe your fam their family is like, um, we need you to do this for us. And you're like, but I need you to do this for me. And they're, they're choosing their family. So you might feel in some way something is unfair or something becomes imbalanced. I also feel like there could actually be some sort of decline too. So your relationship starts off feeling very comfortable and secure. And then I don't know, some, there's some sort of shift where then you feel like insecure, your needs aren't being met. Now, if it's just finances, it could be that you and your partner splurged and now you feel like, oh my God, now we don't have enough money to take care of this, that, and the other. Um, 
it could be something like that. Maybe you just made a, a big purchase or purchased a house, but then you find out that you spent out of your means. Um, so yeah, it could be some financial struggles that you're dealing with. Um, if not the third party situation. Mm. Hmm. I feel like, you know, just in general, though, the foundation is there. It's just a matter of speaking up. Try not to let your pride or ego get in the way of a good thing, because it seems like a rela relationship is going over well, but then there is some sort of a hiccup. Somebody makes a mistake. I do feel like people make mistakes too, depending on what that mistake is. Um, but I feel like somebody might make a mistake and needs forgiveness. Um, and somebody can't have too much pride to say, I'm sorry. Um, or forget. if you feel the relationship is worth it, then hold on to it. Because it does seem too like maybe there's some sort of um, indecisiveness going on and trying to compare or weigh the pros and the cons of a situation. If the pros outweigh the cons, then it's worth fighting for. If not, then you know what you need to do. Mm. Yeah. There also may be a struggle with work-life balance. You also might feel like your partner keeps choosing their job or career over you as well. That's the only thing. So things start off really solid and then there's a hiccup. So just be prepared for that. Not saying that is something that can't be resolved, but before the month is out, I do feel like there may be some sort of issue. All right, so let's see what messages there are for those of you that are um, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of February, 2023. All right, you have Empress, overall energy, Queen of Swords. Um, okay, so you might find yourself attracted to somebody or maybe this person finds you attractive. Um, I'm getting the energy of possible temptation. I'll wait and see what else is coming out. But uh, it is a possible that somebody's coming off like temptation. Um, or someone maybe feels like they're being lured away or seduced from a relationship. Uh, there definitely could be some sort of flirting between you and another person. Mm. I feel that your desires are also manifesting. So something that you're thinking, your thoughts become things or something you're thinking about, it does manifest. Hmm. I feel like you also may receive confirmation that someone's thinking about you. You also may need to make some sort of decision of whether or not you're willing to let something go or make some sort of a sacrifice to have whatever your desires are. Like, what are you willing to let go of for that? I feel like I'm getting sixes and threes. Those may be some sort of significant numbers for you. Um, I do feel like there could be some sort of pending communication between parties. Someone may be waiting for your response or vice versa, and I feel like it's coming. You might feel like somebody is your soulmate 
uh, or twin flame. It does seem though that there's a possibility of that temptation. Um, somebody is coming off as forbidden fruit and you know, it's like you have to make that choice. So if you are not the one in a relationship and feeling like you're at a crossroad or feeling tempted by someone that you're attracted to, then your partner may be. If you're completely single, um, it can still play out that you are tempting someone that's in a relationship. And this person is now trying to decide is the relationship that they're in worth holding on to or should they give a relationship a chance with you? I do feel that you could make a significant love connection this month. It seems like love is in the air. Um, but I feel that this connection maybe serves a higher purpose is to get you on a certain path. Whoever this person is, I'm getting telepathy. Mm. Something else I was picking up on. Somebody's remote viewing you or just thinking about you during meditation. You might be the archetype of someone's desires. I do feel specifically that someone is attracted to someone who is either thick or they're thick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, it doesn't matter. It just something is like your ideal person. Um, yeah, so that's what I was getting ready to say. So I feel like someone is a reflection of your highest good. Someone, whoever is coming into your life is showing you your better side. They bring out the good in you. For some of you, I feel like there's an opportunity to resolve a past issue with someone um, or someone is wanting to finish where you left off. Um, matter of fact, maybe a relationship never got off the ground for whatever reasons. It was just bad timing. And so now you're being put back in a situation where the two of you can have a solid relationship. Uh, also, a relationship may have fallen apart so that it could be rebuilt. It does seem like maybe you feel like you found the one or someone is kind of like giving you faith, giving you life. Um, I feel like you're excited. Somebody is getting you excited or somebody really has your attention. You may feel like somebody is your best friend and it's reiterating with what I said about um, somebody is bringing out the best in you. It's like you bring out the best in each other. Uh, so you guys are a reflection of your goodness. Um, all the kind parts about yourself. Um, you are attracted to someone. You might find yourself attracted to someone's confidence. Somebody is helping you understand who you are, or maybe that's why they're attracted to you, because they see themselves in you. Mm. And it could be an air sign or a Virgo or Leo. Could be another earth sign though, other than Virgo. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. 
But I feel like some, like, I don't know, somebody is feeling drawn to you or you are feeling drawn to some, something is pulling you. You're like, why am I feeling pulled in this direction? And it may be happening on a, like a subconscious level. Like, I don't know, like maybe you, let's say for instance, you don't even go on Facebook. All of a sudden you open up Facebook and you see this friend request or you see something, something caught your eye and you're like, let me further investigate. <laughs> and it's kind of like, you know, it's something that's playing out that was meant to play out. But whether you know it or not, it was like this invisible pool that made you do that. And I also could be picking up on the energy that's coming towards you. They felt drawn to you or felt, I don't know, they find you by chance. Not really by chance, but because spirit was guiding them. All right, so let's see what messages there are for those of you that are Aquarius. Sun, moon, arising rising for the month of February 2023. Oh, and happy birthday, Aquarius. All right, you have the devil, overall energy, nine of pentacles. There may be someone who is obsessed over you or vice versa. I feel that you're minding your own business and then all of a sudden you're dealing with, you know, lust, desire, temptation, um, I feel like there could be some sort of intense attraction developing between you and another person. Only thing is that there is a possibility that whoever you're dealing with or whoever's getting ready to come towards you is still has some heavy karma attached to it. Um, there may be a relationship that needs to be purified. Um, something could start off unhealthy or toxic, but then be resolved to something that is, you know, uh, healthy. Um, I do feel too that something might be a manifestation of your lower desires, um, your lust. It could be lust at first sight. Something could definitely be based off of a physical attraction. Not saying that's the end all be all of this connection, unless you want it to be that way. Um, but it does seem like it starts off as purely physical. You also could be involved with someone who's uh, very materialistic. Um, not necessarily surface, but they're just like into materialism. Um, they got to have the coins, they got to have the cars, they got to have nice clothes, they got to look good. Um, they're into the brands, you know, somebody might be heavily into materialism. But I also feel that the good thing about it is that maybe that is needed to ground you or maybe you, if they're too focused on that, maybe you're the person that can balance them and bring a little bit of spirituality to their lives or um, love. You know, maybe someone has been very surface and doesn't really understand love. You could be that person. But this is showing that you're gonna have to set boundaries with whoever this is. Don't let them overrun you or drain you of your energy because they do have a tendency to become, you know, overbearing or just like too time consuming. So yeah, don't be afraid to stand up to this energy, whoever they are. Uh, definitely could be an earth sign, also could be a cancer. You also could end up blocking someone if they come off too intense. Hmm. 
something could be happening around springtime. Uh, that could be the start of a new relationship. I also feel like there is a chapter closing in your life. If you're single, I feel like that chapter could be closing and you would be moving towards a relationship with somebody. If you're already in an established relationship, you guys might be leveling up. Maybe you guys are um, moving in together um, or getting engaged or, you know, something of the sort. Um, but it, it seems like two people would be ready to take that next chapter together. Also, I see a potential vacation or some sort of traveling going on. Your person, I feel like this person is going to be very possessive. They're not going to want you to go anywhere. They're going to want to smother you. Um, they're going to want to know about your whereabouts. If they're crazy enough, they would follow you. I feel like this person... Um, now, that might be your love language, depending on if you have any... <laughs> Um, Scorpio placements, especially like Venus and Scorpio, uh, that could be your love language. You might like obsession. It's funny. I was just thinking about how I noticed that um, Earth signs can actually be kind of possessive, um, like Venus and Scorpio. But yeah, I feel that I feel that this person would want to like really be on top of you and know like your whereabouts. And I was also getting that somebody might travel for a living. Mm. The other side of this though, is that if you are not interested in this type of energy, um, then, like I said, you end up blocking this person and moving on, detaching from them. And I feel like ultimately it doesn't matter. I see some sort of celebration. You're going to be at peace with yourself. As long as you're happy, that's all that matters. You're putting, you're putting yourself first, whether that is you choosing to be single whether that is you choosing to have some sort of friends with benefits or whether or not you want to be with someone who is dominating and possessive. So I feel like the outcome is happy for you regardless. If someone has been very guarded with their feelings, uh, I feel like there's going to be a release and someone will let their guards down for you. All right, so let's see what messages there are for um, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the remainder of February 2023. We have Justice and Queen of Cups. All right, so you are trying to balance yourself. You're trying to make peace with yourself. Um, if you've been feeling off balance, then this is about you, you know, centering yourself and finding peace. Um, seems like you are feeling very intuitive. And I do feel that you have some sort of soul contract with someone. It could be a Libra. It could be a water sign. Or it could be an earth sign. Seems like you were meant to be in a relationship. 
Um, this is part of the law of attraction, the law of karma. There's someone coming to bring or restore peace into your life. There's someone coming into your life that's going to bring uh, balance and that's going to ground you. I also feel that there could be financial security or someone is going to be an example of everything that you identified as commitment. You're like, this is what commitment looks like to me. And I feel like you're receiving that. Now, it is also a possibility that you and your partner could go into business together, could make money together, um, or be making investments together. If you're in an established relationship, I feel like maybe people are talking about marriage. It does seem like, you know, maybe family could be pressuring that issue. Maybe somebody wants it, but they're also getting nervous about it. There is a possibility of an engagement being put on hold only because someone starts having anxiety about it. It also seems like February, you are needing to make some sort of decision and you're comparing two situations or weighing the pros and cons. Um, it just seems like you are needing to make a logical decision or a, a decision that is not um, based off of emotions, but you're using your logic. I feel like something is being placed on hold. It's like, it's let's put this on hold. I feel like there is something that you need to come to the realization of. There also could be something going on. Um, there could be something going on where you can't make a decision until you have more information. And so once you have more information, you can make a more informed decision. Seems too like um, there could be some legal matters. If somebody is going through a divorce, they may have to delay it. Or maybe something is needing to be re renegotiated uh, in regards to finances or custody issues. I'm seeing something in regards to a legal binding. You may be focusing on legal matters, period. Something could bind you. If it's not marriage, it could be signing your name on a lease together um, or mortgage or car note. So I feel like you guys are discussing legal things. Hmm. I feel like you're also healing or there's some sort of healing taking place. It could be that because you are healed, this person is ready to come into your life or the universe feels like, okay, now that you're, you're healed, you're ready to deal with this type of energy. Um, or you're ready to be in a relationship because you're at peace. You found your balance. I do feel that you're going to be rewarded as well for um, good karmas. Mm. I feel that a relationship is giving you enlightenment. Hmm. 
something about family still is sticking out for me. I don't know, like something in regards to extended family or distant relatives. I don't know how they're affecting your relationship, but it seems like something about family, the family bloodline or something that is, somebody might be having anxiety about the family name or the legacy. Now, there could be an issue like if your family is like specific about the type of person that you involve yourself with, that you're stressed about that, you're hoping that this person meets your family's wishes or something of that sort. But for the most part, I feel like this is overall, you know, some good energy. The only thing I'm picking up on is that something might be delayed or placed on hold until further information is available. I don't know what that has to what that's in regards to. But I mean, I hope these messages have helped. Uh, so feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Sending you love and grace.